Hey everybody, today we are going to be building a landing page for this portfolio site. I found this mock-up on, uh, I don't know what website it was. Anyway, I found this free sketch mock-up and basically we're just going to be building this today. So we're going to start with the mobile uh, layout and then we might, I don't know if we'll have time today, I'm going to wireframe it and then probably build it out and then probably we might do the, uh, the desktop version in a uh, next video um, all right yeah let's get to it so let's go ahead and just zoom in this is I thought it was a cool uh, design it's just kind of a basic design um, you can see just kind of a couple tile cards some UX some paragraphs with some headings some links here at the bottom and then the contact information the contact form and then the button to send the contact form. Uh, so, let's go ahead and start by, I haven't built anything yet. So right now I'm just in my uh, directory that uh, I want all my files to be in and then we're gonna say touch.index.html. So let's create an HTML file. And let's go ahead and open that up in VS Code. index.html yep and it's empty so I'm gonna hit pound or sorry shift make an exclamation mark there we go and then I'll hit tab and it will uh, put in some boilerplate for me which is nice I don't think I have an extension that does that I think that just comes with uh, VS code I think because VS code comes with Emmet already installed on it for some reason it always does this with the uh, body tag so I'm gonna whoop, I'm going to indent that. Let's see here. So, let's go ahead and close this now. So I'll just make everything with VS Code. And let's just link some stuff up real quick. So let's go ahead and do a link tag. Yeah, link. There we go. Um, and it's gonna go to our uh, styles main dot C or I'm gonna go I'm gonna call it layout so we need to make a folder called styles and inside of styles is a layout.css Cool. And I think that's all we're gonna do for now. Uh, let's change this. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this onto my other screen for a reference. Um, actually, no. First, what we're gonna do? I'll just shrink this down a little bit. And that way we can see the whole thing. So I'm just gonna kind of build it out just the big sections first I'm gonna do what's called a, a I think it's called a it's a wireframe but it's like a gray box wireframe so essentially I'm just going like I'm not gonna worry about the pictures or the colors or anything I'm literally just taking large chunks of the element so it looks like up top here we have what will be eventually some kind of menu or nav thing right there it looks like I think the larger one yeah it would probably have all of this stuff in it so that's gonna be our nav and then I think that'll also be part of it so let's make a header tag and then inside of that we're gonna put a nav and leave that for now uh, let's go ahead and just put in a span that just says navigation all right, we got our header there. We have our nav. And then I believe in the photo is also gonna be in our header. So I'm gonna put a, uh, I'm gonna wrap it into the div for now. Might not need to later. I don't have a source yet, but I'm just going to leave it there for now. 
Okay, so that's our header. I'm actually, no, I think... Oh, we got our nav here. I think this should all be... Well, this would be our hero, I think, because then it would... Kind of thing. In terms of... What would it expand out to? It's kind of our hero image. It's like our... Hmm... I'm trying to decide if I should make it a, a, a hero image or just make it part of the header. Probably, I'm going to make it separate because it's kind of... Usually headers don't go down that long. It's more of a hero uh, sort of quote. So we're just going to make another section. With a... Yeah, hero... And then inside of that, we're just going to have an H1 with motivation is the first step to success. And there we'll have our icons. I'm also going to put those in here. So those would be uh, just a, I'm going to say div, and I'm just going to give it an ID of, of social icons and I might change these names later this is just kind of for my own uh, sanity uh, and again we'll just leave those that empty now we're down here into the works section it looks like it looks like it's split up yeah into works about and all that so we're gonna make our another section An ID of works. I might change the IDs to classes later. I don't know yet. Right now, I'm just using them to label uh, sections. So, in here, it looks like these images are kind of, they're like cards, and they have. So, I'm going to make another uh, div, an ID class equal to card and then inside of that looks like we have a basically just an h1 and then this little feature thing so we could call it with a I'm gonna do the first one first the first one would be a I'm gonna say call it a label maybe yeah I think so or I might make it just a span. I think I'll make a span. Span with a class of featured. featured. That, and then we'll do a uh, H2. And motivation is the weird it's all capitalized but I'm gonna do it anyway because that's part of the design and that's what a good front-end developer does is they just go by the design not really I would imagine I think they uh, probably talk to the designer if something seems weird all right uh, how great is the That section, I'm gonna go another section. This is an ID of about. And then here it looks like it's just a series of paragraphs uh, with headings. So I'm gonna also do, and it looks like about the same size as that, so I'm also gonna do them as H2s. So we'll say div for the class of. Uh, what would you call these? About paragraphs? No, I'm gonna call them... Skills. I'm gonna rename this section here, yeah. We'll put it about, but...
about skills. So right here, what I'm doing is I'm using a method called BIM, uh, which stands for block element modifier. Um, I'm not strictly following it, but in terms of, I'm basically just saying, in terms of the the main idea is that the class conveys more information than just like a word. It can convey like where it sits in the hierarchy. So for this case, I'm saying about underscore underscore skills, like this class tells me that whenever this class is applied, when I'm in my CSS, uh, that, that it's only gonna be applied to things that are descendants of the about uh, section. So that's what I'm doing there. That's why I did the underscore underscore skills. Because I would honestly, I would probably change this to skills instead of about. And I think I'm actually going to do that just to make it so it's not, uh, not so obscure. Uh, skills. Trying to think of what I would call it now that I didn't change it to skills. Uh, skills. I'll just call it skill. There's skills and then skill. That works. And we'll do it. H2. Oh, come on. H2. And UX slash UI. P tag. I think we'll just try. Can I copy this? Uh, Icons again. So we have icons there. No, not icons. We'll come back to that. Those that's just that's a small detail. I can always put that in there. Okay. Next section is links. So we're gonna say uh, section ID equals links, and then we're just gonna say a, and then this actually. This one, we might want to make this a list. No, it loops around. Um, what would be the best way to do this? Because here it's easy. You just do A links, A tags. Well, we could use grid. So, why don't I? Links, well, links could just be the section. Cause that's all it really is, it's just these links. Okay, yeah, so links will just be a grid. Okay, cool. So zoom in, not there, wrong one. Let's zoom out of this, holy crap. Okay, so A, href, equals that. So it looks like this is a gonna be in a span because it's different than the other ones. This the year is gonna be in a span.
Link. Year. that the last section is contacts it's contact section Put an H1 up top here. No, not H1. H2. H2. And we'll call that contact. And then we'll put a paragraph. And whatever this stuff is. Is hokey stuff. Pretty. I like positive stuff, but sometimes it gets a little like. I got, you know, I enjoy this stuff too, so I guess I can't knock it, but sometimes it gets a little hokey. It can't. It's a very fine line between, like, good motivational stuff and just it getting hokey and unrealistic. Alright, uh, so that's our paragraph. We also have our icons from up top, so we can copy that again. Put that there. Da, 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 da. That and now, now we get to our form. Form. So the form is gonna be a ID of contact form. Label name for uh, name input. I'm do an input that matches it. Input type equals text. And the uh, ID. Actually, I'm going to put the ID. ID second actually. ID equals name input. Is it ID or name? Let me look it up real quick. Uh, input. Check it out here. So, input type submit, value submit, no, form, type text. And do, 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 do. Uh, I didn't answer my question at all. I believe it was you do the four and then the ID, but I think you could have done you do name. Name attribute. The name attribute. 
must have a name attribute be submitted. If the name attribute is submitted, the out of the input field will not be sent at all. Oh, we do need. Okay, so we need both, I guess. So, let's just need both. So, ID name input name equal to name input. Say contact name input. A little just slightly more descriptive. And sticking with our BIM naming convention, I'm gonna actually say contact form. Contact form. Name input. There we go. That's a little clearer. All right, and then the cool. So there's our name input. Bring that back. We also have a label. Or contact form, email input, email, we have a dash in there, and then we'll say input type equals text, id equals, id equals contact. But cool equals I'm just gonna change these names to name input and uh, email input. So I believe that that's what gets sent along with the data. Uh, input, okay, and then one more will be a label. I'm gonna make that one a text area. Label for uh, contact form message input. For some reason these are capitalized, I don't know why. But that's the design. Input ID equals text. ID equals contact. It's a text area, not a text input. Text area. I totally forgot the syntax for text area too. Let's look it up. Whoa, columns and rows, I remember that, okay. So the name is just gonna be our, uh, Decided on a happy medium. See, so these are just going to be instead of input, contact, uh, email. Contact name. Okay, and then, oh, we need one more thing. We need our submit button, or submit input. So, I'm just gonna do a input type. <laughs> submit. And, is that all I need? Hold on. I'm gonna look 
that up again too. The input submit. Input. Oh yeah, it needs a value. Yeah, it needs a value. Uh, otherwise, it'll just be kind of empty. So the value will be. Uh, it's gonna end up being this like arrow icon, but uh, arrow icon for now. Okay. Sweet. So before we go any further. Also, just going to uh, div or slash. Div, and then at the top, I'm gonna wrap. I'm gonna wrap everything in a uh, container. Sequels container. out what this looks like all right here we go so this is what we got right now squish it up here all right so emulator here that way we can uh, really crush it down here okay oh back to the top uh, all right so cool okay we need to go back now and sort of uh, build everything out. Because you see how it's like right here, because I'm using H2s, they're a little bigger than, like this is supposed to be the box here, but there's no gray background. So we need to get into our CSS and start editing that. So I'm gonna split this to the right just so I can have an idea of what my names were. All right. Actually, I'm gonna do it the other way. Let's split that over to the right, because CSS is not as uh, verbose as HTML. So let's go ahead and we're actually gonna, I'm gonna try to crush this down even more. Uh, can I get rid of these panels somehow? Cool, even better. Two notifications. Anyway, okay, so we can keep that over there and still have some uh, real estate here for the code. All right, so starting with our header. Why did I have this big capital navigation in here? Oh, I guess that was just for me. Um, to do navigation. Okay, so there we have our picture. We'll just start down here. Put a class on here. Hero. 
setting. Like success is in a span, so we'll just wrap that in a span for now. It's not we're not gonna do anything with it yet, but it needs to be a different color. Fix that. Alright. So we still need this works actually title. So we also need a uh, H. Section heading. So the first thing we need to do is make a card class. Uh, let's go ahead and um, just do a height of, well, the pictures, we'll, no, we'll, we'll make it, we'll do a height of, let's say, what is that, 250 maybe? 50 pixels and a width. But first, we're going to do a container. And then we're going to say that one's going to have a percent, but then a padding of zero and let's call it 20 pixels maybe. Let's see what that looks like. Save that. Go back here. See how it changed. We'll refresh. There we go. Got a little, a little better. Make sure my containers. Uh, here, let's save that also. light green just for fun. Add some color to it. Uh, let's go ahead and keep this organized. So we'll see, put that up there. I want to keep, you like, it's good to keep your CSS in alphabetical order. Uh, that way it makes it easier to find when you need to go into the, uh, back into it. Refresh again. Okay. What is pushing it that way? Increasing prosperity with positive thinking. Oh, those wrap, okay. Oh, I need to do the uh, border box. I gotta do that. Uh, there's a. There it is. This is a quick snippet from Paul Irish. This is good. It, it basically just makes it so everything's border box. Or, uh, not border box, but the box sizing is uh, border box instead of content box. So it doesn't uh, overlap. Because, see, I think what's happening here is that the width. 
is set to 100% of my container, so it's 100%, and then it's adding the 20% padding, which makes it larger than the container, which is why we're getting that. So if I just throw this in at the top, save, and refresh, now it goes back and it doesn't do that weird, you know, slide scrolly thing. Well, it kind of still does it a little bit. I gotta, I'm gonna fix that. Okay, so width is 100%. I wonder if that's just a problem with the, let's go back to the sponsor. Why is it doing that? Let's, keep a look. let's look here. Container. Oh, it's because of the body has a margin and stuff. So we'll also do that with at the top. We'll say HTML and body margin is zero. Refresh. Still doing it. Huh. Interesting. I'm going to also add the padding on here. I'm going to do 10 pixel padding on the top and bottom. Okay. So what else is happening here is we are getting... Ah, uh, okay. It's because just the headings are what's causing them to separate. So, we also need to add that to our cards. Let's build it with our card. Uh, okay, so we need our... Uh, put it in here margin top will be top and bottom will be 10 and pixels and zero and does that not do anything oh yeah I gotta refresh it's so weird once you spend time like doing react and like everything's live reloading you forget that you actually need to do the whole let's see if I can actually um Live reload it still works here. Go live. Let's find out. That way I don't have to keep doing this. Okay, sweet. It did work. Nice. Do that. I'm gonna say inspect. I'm gonna go back over here. And why is it so much bigger? Holy crap. 100%. Why is it gigantic? A hundred percent. Do we do a iPhone? Why? Whoa! What happened? Suddenly, it's gigantic. There we go. That must have been some weird fluke with the browser. Alright, so... Ah, that's so much better. Okay. So, we got that. We got our 10. Let's actually, let's add a, a card. We're going to make it 20. Nice and even. It's even more, honestly, in that design. Let's go ahead and go with 25. 30. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, there's a, uh, I can't remember what is it called here. There's a, uh, a service or a program called Zeppelin that we can actually feed this into, and it's gonna give us all the actual dimensions. So right now I'm just kind of 
eyeballing it. So we have UX, UI. These look okay. Let's just go ahead and say the card. Let's set those to display flex. Say display and bring it up here. Display flex. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna enable us to move these things around inside of the uh, the boxes a little easier. So we'll go ahead and say A B C D E F flex direction will be a column and then the uh, I believe it's Let's just see what the column does. Okay, yeah, it moves them that way. And then I could just say, uh, justify content. That's what it was, justify content, flex, end. And that'll push it all the way down to the bottom. Ooh, what happened? Let's do that, that's what happened. There we go. And let's put a little padding inside of our cards too. Uh, so, Padding will be uh, let's go 10 more pixels. That looks nice. A little more actually. Let's go uh, another 20. Yeah, looking good. That looks good for now. Okay. Uh, featured. We don't need that right now. We don't need that. UX, UX UI. Motion deal, that's... what needs some attention here so I'm just gonna do it now uh, we'll just say I'm gonna change all these to and F uh, ID So we got a display grid on here. Let's 
So let me look up this syntax kind of real quick for grid. Template columns. There we go, okay, yeah. So I can do a min max, and then I'll do a one FR, and then the max will be uh, 400 pixels. And I think that'll make it so it is still just one column when it's in this mode, yeah. And then, why is that? Oh, it's probably because I'm not spelling it right. So that's not even working. There we go. Let's see what that looks like. And we'll just also say a uh, grid gap. I think it's just gap now, actually. It'll be one pixels. That looks nice. Uh, we'll also say link uh, text decoration is none. There's that. Cool. And then we have contact again, which will. bigger but right now I'm not gonna worry about that I got the contact so basically I just need to make this a, uh, a grid also I was just thinking if I should make the whole thing a grid or not I feel like I probably should actually Instead of messing around with all this crap, I could just do a containers display grid. Let's see what that does. Just throwing it in there. So if I make, because with this display grid, it's just the direct children that become grid elements, unless you start messing around with subgrids. So if container is a grid, then only the things that are direct. Oh, I got that. This is backwards too, actually. So let me, why is the body that way? Let's go here and go up. And that container and that div container. Okay, cool. So if that's there, the header's part of it in each of these sections is a, a grid element. Do okay, cool. So each of these sections, which works because then I think if we zoom out here, whoops, no, don't want to do that. Can I grab that? That works because yeah, this part I can make into uh, other grids. That's still a grid. That's gonna be a grid. That'll be a grid. So, maybe I won't make the whole thing a grid, but I'm just going to have a bunch of nested grids. That works. Okay. So, no need for that. We're going to just go here, refresh. So, last part. I'm still, I'm probably just, I'm just going to make this a grid too because... 
we're gonna end up having to uh, do this number there so uh, let's go ahead and just say uh, let's close that down a little bit so our contact form is also going to be a grid Oh wait, no, not form, just contact. Contact is display grid. I wonder if that'll just fix it right now. I think it will, it'll go there, go down, reload the page. No, because I also need to make the form a grid, if that's what I want to indeed do. But I'm not sure if that's what I want to do. Yeah, I think I'm going to make the contact form actually a flex box. Change these to just contact form. That way, or contact form input. And that way, I can just make a contact form input. Just to make them a little easier to see. Uh, background color is. Light gray. That works. All right, so that's it for now. I'm gonna take a break and uh, make some food here. But so this is our uh, what we got today. So I can take that off and it looks pretty good, I think, compared to the. It's just a good basic wireframe uh, for now. I'll uh, build out the rest. I can. I'll get the assets for the next video, and we'll start throwing in the assets in the next video. Uh, that's it. Here, let me uh, zoom out so it's one. Compare the two. If it'll let me, let's go to responsive. Oh, we zoom out. That's not what I want to do. There we go. Zoom out. Looks pretty good, I think. Whoop, don't do don't want to do that. But yeah, we got the heading, we got our cards, we got our featured stuff. Scrolls down. Let's go down here. Got our paragraphs, links, and our contact form. Alright guys, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.